at setup. You can see now with the hands pushing forward, we've got a really nice angle now between your left arm and the club and your right arm. Okay, now this stick on the ground in now is representative, obviously, you striking down the golf ball. When you get the club now to the top of the backswing, making a nice good turn here to the top, what you've got to try and do now, when well, we did the drill with you on the wall, so if you've got the wall kind of there, mm -hmm. you move your hip into the wall and the hands come into the wall. What you're tending to do, and you'll probably see a little bit of this in this video now, is you move your top half. Now, well, to be fair, that wasn't too bad, actually. That's pretty good, yeah? Hips moving towards the wall there, and there's a pretty good impact position, actually. In fact, that was a good one, in fact. It was better than I thought it was. But you're moving your body now with the lower half, so hips and hands are on the wall, not the head, okay? So you're able to square the club face up. What you do with a driver, because you want to try and whack it, makes it more power, mm. is your head goes like this, goes down to the goal point, it goes forward, yeah. and then your arms come over the top to try and whack it hard. You come down too steep and yeah. it goes whoop, up in the air and then just doesn't go very far at all. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is just you trying to stop the slice or try and stop it go right, so I'll just swing it left. By lowering the T, you're actually going to encourage you to get more steep on it and yeah. come over the top more good practice would be to do is almost imagine you're in a golf ball with a ball up here so on this table chair here, hitting it kind of that way yeah because what's that going to do to your angle of attack it's going to shallow it you're not going to yeah. go no and hit down on it okay you've got to get that kind of sort of axe chopping into a sort of tree sort of side on a yeah. little bit of side bend so your right side feels underneath that pep will skim in position it's going to be <clears throat> forehand shot in tennis whatever you want to talk about that sort of side arm throw where you're coming in where you're staying the head as we saw it impact on those Ooh, next frame <laughs> there you go those lines head behind the ball hands in front of the golf ball okay yeah. so we're creating that reverse k yeah. yeah good position there for you and that's why your irons are so good and you went some irons there like 150 with an eight iron comfortably yeah yeah and getting a nice little shape now right to left with that. As I said, I would practice the driver, yeah? yeah? You've got to start seeing a ball go right to left. If needs be at address, because the ball's further forward, you've got to get further to the right of the golf ball, yeah? yeah? You've got to find your own neutral. That's all you've got to do. Yeah. And find a position where you can square that club face up. I think sometimes you get quite stiff in the left arm. Yeah. To try and keep people say, keep the left arm straight, which again, we said before, is a little rubbish. Mm -hmm. Going to lock the left arm. That's all the arms got to be able to bend and function and move and rotate in its socket. If we're locking it this way, all you're doing now is just keeping the club face wide open. Yeah. yeah? So you've got to get that club working better through impact, okay? Try your driver. If you get a ball going right to left, great. Build a swing. If you just see lots of shots curving to the right, you've got to get yourself as far right. I mean, that one you went where you felt stupid yeah. gave you 61 spin left. Yeah. That felt to you like you were going to sort of set up almost like this position. Yeah. Less yeah? spin. And that, and that, exactly. Yeah. You found a position. Now, again, when you get in these awkward positions, it's quite so this feels awkward. You tense up. You've got to try and feel it almost as loose and relaxed as possible mm. so you can allow your arms and body to function. Okay. Yeah. Really impressive with the irons, though, as I said. So we're definitely ticking a few boxes there. Yeah. We're going to work on with that, okay? Practice with that now with the irons, and then try a couple of drives. Even just your three-wood and your hybrid, just to get some different shapes, yeah? yeah. You can still hit your driver or your iron, your three-wood good, but it's curving that all the time. Nice. But you're starting it left and coming back to target. You're still losing a bit of efficiency on that one, okay? Yeah. Does that kind of make sense, then, yeah? Yeah. yeah so exactly. i got to say, the progression with your irons, good. Yeah. As I say, I always just try and push you the next thing. There's no point going, just keep it in seven, nine, seven, nine, seven. And we go, yeah, great swing, great swing, great swing. You're not going, are you? You want to, no. you want to move on. We always test how the driver goes. If it didn't quite work, yeah. that's fine. We know where we're at with the driver now. Mm -hmm. So we know we've got a benchmark for maybe next session where that driver's going to be. But okay, we had a couple that were sort of towards fairway. But a most of the time, yeah, we're exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we look at those sort of five or six dots there. Yeah. Two of those five or six are probably a lost golf ball. Maybe three if we're not lucky. Yeah. But two are just about borderline depending on the hole. So if we yeah. said, okay, next time we can get four out of those six on the fairway that aren't lost ball. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's progress. Okay, buddy? Yeah. Very good.